Did you know that Public Works runs the city's subdivision and mapping division? This week, we're hanging out with Bruce Storrs, the city and county of San Francisco surveyor who leads the team that keeps SF in line and on point. Let's take a look. My name is Bruce Storrs. I'm the city and county surveyor for the city and county of San Francisco. And I've had this position for 13 years. The city and county surveyor is in charge of processing all the subdivisions within the city as well as trying to do most of the field work for all the additional agencies. What is a survey? In the early development of the country, um, there a lot of surveys not only provided mapping, but they provided like geographical information and, and um, soil samples and, and things like that. The, the sort of the seat of the pants definition, it's the art and science of um, locating lines and points on the surface of the earth. And now, of course, it's uh, three-dimensional, so it's off the surface of the earth. How precise are these surveys? There's a, there's 25, 25.4 millimeters in an inch, and we'll, we can survey down to a couple of millimeters. We can survey to, uh, less than an eighth of an inch. Why is surveying important? Every, just about everything you see uh, out on the street has been surveyed. The curb, gutter, sidewalk, the streets, the buildings are laid out by surveyors. San Francisco has a fascinating history and um, virtually all of it was laid out by surveyors. Are there any famous surveyors? O'Farrell Street is the first um, city surveyor. Eddy Street was the second city surveyor, William Eddy. Look at Mount Rushmore. The only the only guy up there that wasn't a surveyor was uh, Roosevelt. Uh, Washington was a surveyor. Lincoln was a surveyor, and Jefferson was a surveyor. What is a monument? This is a monument. This is for part of our high precision network. This is these are monuments that similar to what they said out of Park Merced. This is a plastic cap that has a license number. This goes on top of a rebar. There's monuments everywhere. Just about anything can be a monument. Mount Diablo is a monument. Mount Diablo defines all of the public lands and most of the public lands in California and all of Nevada. Has surveying changed through the years? So we went from from a, what they tr traditionally they called it a chain that uh, steel tape that we measured with. Then we went to EDM, electronic distance measuring. Then we moved into GPS. And the GPS, when I was in school in the late 80s, you had to plan your GPS observations over when you knew the constellation of satellites was going to be passing over your spot. There's 35 or 40 up there now, and they keep adding more and more and more. Can I be a surveyor? What do I need to know? You have to know math and you have to know some unusual math. You know, you need to know how to add and subtract angles in your head. There's plenty of judgment calls that aren't strictly math. You, there's a lot of people think that you can open up a book someplace and the answer is there. Or you go out to their house, you look at a book, you look at a map and say, oh, property line's right there. It's not like that at all. You have to look at their, their deed, the adjoiner's deeds. You have to look at the whole block. You have to analyze stuff. You have to be able to write a legal description of a piece of property so that somebody a hundred years from now can go out and resurvey it and, and find it on the ground. There's a, the, a lot of our work um, will be examined over and over and over again for hundreds of years. What do you like? about being a surveyor so many things of it appealed to me y you can you can get you can get dirty and do phys hard physical labor all day long hard 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 physical labor swinging a hammer pounding things into the ground out in the heat and out in the dirt now so that that appeals to the the kid in me and the being in the sandbox and and today we have we have these machines we have these state-of-the-art toys that are phenomenal that have um, Bluetooth capabilities we have drones that can fly can fly over and provide you um, unbelievably accurate information in a very short period of time we have uh, we we have a laser scanner that can take um, several hundred thousand survey grade shots in minutes 
Um, we did a, we laser scanned all of Market Street and I, the, I think there were three billion points taken in that survey. Thanks for watching Public Works TV. Thanks Bruce. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment below. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, I'm Miguel Hernandez, and thanks for tuning in to Public Works TV.